Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. All right, we're going to talk about this viral video on TikTok. It's going viral, viral, viral. You know why? Because it's race related. Yeah. People like to see the races fighting, the commotion. Yeah, people like to see black people acting a fool. It just goes viral. Something about that systemically racist algorithm. <laughs> so, uh, there's a, I think. I was joking. No, no, I'm joking. I don't think there's such thing as systemic racism. I think there's systemic stupidity in this country, but there's a lot of that. Yeah. I think it's systemic anxiety. I used to be like that, man. Growing up, I mean, look at them white people looking at me. Look at them white girls keep staring at me like they've never seen a black man. <laughs> you know? I used to have an anxiety. Looking back on it, them girls want to suck me off. <laughs> Hey, Kev, come on, man. And then the white women, their mothers and fathers just like, I got to keep Becky away from him. He, I know he wants to get sucked off. <laughs> hey, Kev, what's wrong with you? I'm just saying. I had anxiety. And a lot of people who, like, we have anxiety. Well, the world was a lot different when we was teenagers, Kev. Yeah, it was different, but. I mean, because we grew up in the South. We all them white girls wanted to get down. We experienced a lot of racism. I know we did. I didn't say we didn't. But all them white girls wanted some of this. And I thought they was racist. Because they was looking at me. Because I've been fed. All oh, this bull crap. You know what I'm saying? They was looking at us because we was twins. Yeah, that too, and they wanted to suck us off. Anyway, so it's this black girl. She graduated, uh, I guess it was college. What, you think it's high school? What, you think she graduating junior high? <laughs> college, more likely, right? University college. And uh, for high education. Yeah. So she gets into an altercation with a white woman. She takes the mic from her yeah. because supposedly the day before they treated her unfairly when it was they were walking to get their diplomas or something. But here, here's the video of her having an altercation with a nice old white lady. Okay, go. Let go. Let go. You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Connie Jata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, oh, like yes. You snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. You know, there's a black person screaming congratulations, right? You can hear it in the voice. Isn't it crazy how you can just tell somebody's race by just listening to them? Like, you can actually hear the nigga in the voice. Here we go. Thought we said we was going to stop all his Uncle Tom and Coon in here. No. Oh, we we took that word back as a term of uh, endearment? love and endearment and stuff. No, nah, that's bull crap. That's just an excuse for black people to use it. They look just as stupid, if not stupider, than white people. You know why people say the N-word really to each other? Because we hate each other. <laughs> Deep down, they just, oh, look at that nigga. <laughs> he got my new ride. I think he better than me now. No, seriously. Why else will we call each other that? Stupid. I said is we have a systemic problem of stupidity in this country. But Our leaders are stupid. Our, our pastors are stupid. Not all of them. We got some good pastors out there. Man, there's we got pastors in our community. Man, got like four, five million dollar jets. <laughs> Walk around with three million dollars in jewelry. <laughs> yeah. And we got Negroes running out here. Take more. That's stupid. Hey, look at everybody's face. I want to look at that video. Go look at everybody's face. Yeah. You know what they? You know? You know what they? You know what they want to say, right? Okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. You didn't let me get my That's moment, so I want to say my name is Connie Jata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, oh, like yes. You snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Put it, put it on the oh, flex. Drop the mic. Look at all the people of colors like, what the hell is going on? You see the security guard? He had a gun on his hip and everything. He's looking like, man, don't do this. What's wrong with you? He had some twists, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He had yeah. some braids. Look yeah. at him. He looks professional. Man. If I if I hire a security guard, I want him to have him high and tight. I want him clean shaven. I want him <laughs> locked and cocked. <laughs> I don't need Lil Wayne being my security guard. <laughs> Lil Wayne. Yeah, man. I want somebody that looks professional. <laughs> he just there for the paycheck. <laughs> He looked professional to me. He had his shirt tucked in. He wasn't had his gut laying over his belt. He looked good. And pull him up again. 
He just, he just oh, man, shape. you being nice, man. No, he looked professional to me. Oh, man, this dude like you finna go Look, shoot Look, he calling somebody on the walkie-talkie. Hey, we got a nigga over here. <laughs> Act it up. Get the white boys. Get reinforcements in here. <laughs> he was calling in reinforcements. He was on it. Hey, but anyway, she responded on her TikTok. She explained why she did what she did. There's no explanation. You cannot rationalize why you would behave like this. Yeah, trying to justify negative behavior. Yeah, check it out. Oh, oh, stop it right there. I, I got to say something. I got to say something. You see that? See that gold? Look at the bottom. It's what Africa. continent is that? That's Africa. Any person, anytime you see a black man or a black woman walk around with African um, propaganda, paraphernalia. <laughs> propaganda? Yeah, paraphernalia. I call it African paraphernalia. <laughs> Whatever you see. Somebody with African paraphernalia on, they got they got they got a chip on their so shoulder. They got issues. They got issues. They got a they got a they got an axe to grind. I don't know why. Okay, from my point of view, this is my sentiment. You grew up this. in America. I'm pretty Wait, sure you did. No, I don't think she did. She's got an African name. Did you hear her name? She sounds like she got every alphabet now. Yeah. But, but you in America now. You're an American citizen. Yeah, but it's that's the thing. If like, Africa is so great, why don't she go back there? Yeah, and it's like the Won't she go back to Africa if it's so damn great? This is the greatest country in the world. I mean, you got your college degree. Yeah. So I want to say this. Let me say something. I have no allegiance to Africa. Why? Because they sold my ancestors. Not white Africans, black Africans. Why should I have allegiance to a country that sold my ancestors? Yeah. I would. I didn't. Never. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say my breath. Yeah, I, I, that's one thing I never understand about black Americans, man. They love Africa. But they live in here. Stupid. Systemically, we have a systemic problem of stupidity in this country. Self hatred. Well, they're being trained that way. They're being conditioned yeah. to think that way. Yeah. Yeah, they've been. You know that, right? They've been. They, the, they, they gaslight them. Yeah, they, they've, they've been instilled with this mindset from the little kids. It's in our music, it's in our TV shows, mm -hmm. Democrats. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you black, you ain't got a chance in this country. <laughs> Even if you get a college degree, you're going to be on graduation day. You're going to be ripping microphones from right people. Try to get your moment. <laughs> Give me my moment, bitch. <laughs> like, we went to our niece's graduation. There's a lot of people. Nobody spoke. You just went up and got your uh, yeah. diploma. You don't have time. Hey, my name is, uh, what's the name? Something crazy. It's like, yeah, that's a long name. The, imagine if everybody came up there, said that name, that major, where they're from. Uh, what it was like growing, it just takes too long. It's got so many people involved, man. That turned into three, four hours. I just want to, hey, blah, 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 yeah, my let's name. Let's look at the video. Let's look at our point of view. We never looked at it. Oh, okay. Let's hey, listen to shut it. Shut up. Let's listen so, to it. Here's my story. You look good, though. Basically, what happened was um, I was walking on, and we had to announce our names to say our name before we get on the stage. So I was saying my name, and she literally... I was, my name is long. My name, obviously, I have like three syllables in my name. I'm not gonna say exactly my name right now, but okay, just so you get a point. So I didn't even finish getting to say my name. And then the people that went before me and everything, they all got to say their name, their major, and even extras. And me and another girl noticed that she was putting the mic, she was pulling the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, but that was the tea. So, I mean, I just couldn't let her, I just couldn't let that happen. Cause I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much shit to graduate that I just felt like I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry, like, I'm not a problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day. Really? I don't want to violate anybody, but that's what she did. She didn't even let me finish speaking. She put the mic down, cut me off, and that was the only time I was able to speak. So, I, ain't enough of this. I just feel like that wasn't right. Tired of it. You believe him? Nah. I don't believe you, sorry. No, you're black and all, but I still don't believe. I mean, what kind of graduation is that where everybody gets to say their name? Don't they call your name and... I yeah, mean, they call your name, take your diploma, get out of here. I could say they're doing it if there's only 10 or 15 people graduating, but I'm sure there's a lot of people graduating. You ain't got time for that. Yeah. And where's the video of you, uh, of those, uh, of what happened? Yeah. There's only evidence of you ripping mics. There's no video evidence nowhere of... 
of doing of them doing what you claim they did? Yeah. Where's the evidence? Where is that? Where is it at? Oh, you didn't have your phone out. You didn't. Oh, okay. You lying. It's a damn good show, though. Damn good show. Hey, giving away a new truck. Tell them about it, Keith. Four? Took too long. A Ford Raptor. Code orange. Five red. But guess what else? You all, you also receive $10,000 in cash. You enter to win the contest. Go to officialr20.com. Anything you buy, automatically enters you to win. Yeah. You speed this shit up. <laughs>